What is going on guys and welcome to this video. Now today we have something very, very special. Today we're going to be taking a look around a completely abandoned and completely untouched school. This place is huge, so there's a good chance that this will probably be a two-part video, but trust me, it's going to be worth it. As you can see behind me, the schoolwork and photographs and everything from when this school was functioning until it closed in 2014. So, without further ado, let's get right into the exploration. This school once had around 1,000 students. It closed in 2014 and never reopened its doors. Now it just sits here, gathering dust. But what's amazing about this place is that it's completely untouched. But just for you guys, we got special access. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this exploration. So, I am actually back with Aaron, who long-term viewers will remember because he was one of the first guys that I ever explored with. So he's back over for a little while, so we're gonna do this exploration together. But uh, yeah, we're starting off in this little room here. It just shows like past pupils and stuff like that. It doesn't really say what this room was, but uh, we're gonna head through here. As far as we know, every door is open. And I just want to give a shout out to a few people who actually got us here. Uh, Jamie, Craig, and Tony, the three of those guys, without them this video wouldn't be possible. So a uh, big shout out to them. So on the wall we've got like graphic designs and stuff and it looks like that this room was probably for like design and technology type of thing. Stuff like that is what it looks like this part was. But yeah, we're going to head on through because apparently there's some really cool stuff to see in here. This place is literally a full abandoned school. It's absolutely mad. We've got like artwork and stuff like that, just like kids projects and stuff, which is just really cool to see. It's actually amazing that just everything is still here. You've even got like the big interactive whiteboard. There's no projector, um, but the whiteboard's still there, which is pretty cool. Yeah, Aaron just found something that said this is actually textiles. Cause on the, yeah, on the cupboards here, it says like year seven textiles, year eight textiles. So yeah, textiles, artwork, that sort of thing was what happened in these classrooms. So yeah, this is actually the creative arts faculty. So that makes sense, the textiles, the artwork rooms. Yeah, so we'll head on back through here and we'll see where else there is to find. So we can't get into this room, but uh, you can sort of see into there, just like another technology kind of classroom in there. So it turns out that this was actually the main reception area. You would come in the school through these main doors and you would come through into here and this is where the receptionist would greet you. Now what's interesting about that is although this was a reception, as soon as you go through these double doors, you've got this huge hall, which unfortunately is starting to leak through the ceiling. You've even got like a fully functional kitchen as well. So can you see that guys? This school still has power. The lights and everything is still working. It's incredible. So yeah, you've got all the like the ovens and the fridges and all the storage and everything that the kitchen would have had when they were cooking for the 1,000 students that were at this school. It's just crazy, you've still got all the plates and there's, there's actually like ingredients in the bowls and stuff. It's like they just got up and just left. It's crazy. Aaron's saying there's a voodoo doll in here. That's pretty creepy, just sat there. <laughs> Someone's just got a bad head. You've got the kitchen stuff, the clothes, the shoes, everything, special day decorations, crazy. So yeah, this must have been like a changing room possibly for the kitchen staff. Got like a price list thing here as well, which is pretty cool. So I've actually got like the insect repellent neons on, which look really cool. Just these bright purple neons within the kitchen. That's nice. It looks so cool. So this hall was clearly multifunctional. They would use it for shows. Um, they would maybe use it as a sports hall, I'm not too sure. And uh, yeah, they would use it for their lunchtime meals as well. There's a balcony up here as well, which we're going to go and check out in a little while. So we're actually on the stage now, so this is what you can see from the stage, looking out onto the hall. So we're going into what appears to be the sports hall now. Yeah, we've got this huge sports hall with the basketball court, the climbing frame. Everything is still here. And you've got some really dark corridors, which are always nice to see. So up here, we've actually got the old mats that the gym, like, they would use for gymnastics. What's crazy is I have no idea how they would have got them up there. And they're quite heavy as well, so it's a bit weird. So we've got the bathroom um, down in the gym area. We're going to head down here. Apologies, apologies, the ISO might be a bit high, so it could be a little bit grainy. But uh, hopefully, yeah, this bit's a bit lighter. So we'll head in here. 
And this is like the old PE teacher's office. We've got like letters of parents as well. Stacy is suffering from tonsillitis and the physical activity can make her worse. That's crazy that they've actually still got all the old like parents notes and stuff here. This must have been like the staff room for the PE teachers. Got like the Hoover, a sink. And this looks like a bit of a storage cupboard. It's not actually a staff room, it's a first aid room. So when you get hurt in PE, you come in here and the, the nurse sorts you out. This is crazy, coming in here, we've actually got like the changing rooms. This is where all the kids would have got ready for PE. So we've came into this next corridor and this was at the end of the PE offices, um, but we couldn't get through that door so we've had to walk back around. But yeah, we've got like these main doors out into the courtyard. We've got the pupil support center down there as well, which we're gonna go and take a look at. But I wanna see if I can get outside. No, it doesn't look like. No. So we can't get out into the courtyard, but you can see it anyway, maybe. I've actually got like the wall of fame. So this is like students that have done well in certain things. Got, like netball, gymnastics. And you've also got this Euro Disney tour and Holland tour photo section, which happened in 2014, which is interesting because that's the year that this school closed. This was probably like one of the last things that the school did. So yeah, this is the pupil support department, but unfortunately the door is locked and we just can't get into there. So we're now heading upstairs. We've covered the ground floor in this first building, but I believe there's two or three buildings to check out. So yeah, looking outside we have this really cool overgrown courtyard, which is really nice. But it's just so interesting, like, how all the notes and everything are still here. We've got like the staff responsibilities as well. Just telling them that they have to, you know, make sure all the uniforms are correct and greet students and everything. Pretty much just doing general teacher stuff. So I'm going to stand a bit back, but this board here has like all of the students' pictures on in like year seven, which is pretty crazy. Like there's pictures on there from 2001. So yeah, we're going to head into the mathematics department. So let's see what this has to offer. It's weird, like I'm surprised that there's really long corridors, but at the end of the day, this is a full high school. There's lots and lots of rooms. So okay, we're coming into one of the first classrooms. This is classroom L9. Now there's no tables or anything, but there's still stuff on the walls. Like you got a map over there. You got like students work down here. There is a bit of the ceiling tile falling in about there. But yeah, it's pretty crazy. There's like pictures of the students and stuff doing their work in this classroom. Now, as far as the future for this school goes, it's getting demolished, but it's getting flattened and I believe they're gonna be building houses on it. There is like a new housing estate right next to it and I believe that they're gonna buy the land and build more houses on here. Now you might be wondering what happened to all of the students who were at this school. Well, basically this school merged with another school and they moved into one school which is pretty close by to this one. So all of the students that were once in here have now moved there. But as I did say earlier, this place did close in 2014 and I believe it was due to like bad Ofsted reports, which like Ofsted is like the UK school review board, which come and assess all of the different parts of the school, like the teaching, the exam results, the student behavior, all that sort of stuff. And if it's like so bad that it just can't be fixed, then they close the school. And I believe that this place was like a repetitive bad school. So year after year, it was bad. That's just going off what I could find online. That's not like guaranteed, but that's what I could find online. But uh, yeah, let's carry on with the exploration. So yeah, we've got another classroom here. Again, there's no t like tables or desks or anything. But uh, again, there's lots of schoolwork on the wall. As you can see out here, we've got like tennis courts and stuff as well. I'm hoping we'll be able to get out there at some point. But uh, yeah, we can see it from here anyway. More classrooms. And it's crazy that these like smart board, interactive board things are still here. Cause like, these are like worth a thousand pounds each, which is just mad. I mean, they haven't got the projector or anything, but to still have the board here is just crazy. So I'm gonna sign the chalkboard type of thing, just to say that I was here. Was here. It's a shame that a lot of these classrooms are pretty bare. I would have liked to have seen some like proper desks and seats and stuff, but unfortunately there isn't any here. Might be in the next areas though. So I've actually found an old exam here, which is, does it say when? Yeah, this was 2014, so this was like just as the school was closing. And it was the design and technology, food technology exam. But it's still in like the seal that they come in to make sure that no students get to see it before it's actually on their table. 
Okay, so this is absolutely crazy. Like, we've came into the food technology area and everything is still here. You've got the ovens, you've got the hygiene and safety stuff over there. Everything's still in great condition as well. It's, it's just mad to see. It's kind of like they've just gone home for the day and we've just came into school like after it's closed. You wouldn't think that this place has been closed down for three years. I've actually found a dead bat in the sink as well, which is crazy. What? There's a dead bat there. So we found this like super old Monopoly as well. It doesn't, I don't think it says any dates on it. But you've got the board and all the pieces are still there. It's like unbelievable. It doesn't have any dates on it, which is really unfortunate, but it looks so retro. That's really nice. So we're into like the business IT area now. So we've got like computer science notes and like instructions and tips and all that stuff. A lot of Simpsons posters, which is interesting. And yeah, more pictures of students and just like business stuff. Pretty cool. Nice big rooms as well. Like there's lots of space. It wasn't like really cramped classrooms. This is a bit weird though. It's like two classrooms, but separated by this sort of curtain type of thing. A bit weird. But yeah, this room looks pretty much identical, just flipped. So we've got the IT support area. This is where like the computer geeks would have sat. This is where, you would have been. This is where the computer geeks would have sat. And they would have, you know, you would have brought in your issues in here and they would have came and fixed your computers and stuff. It's funny how like in every school you've got the IT department, but they just sort of get locked away in this like little cupboard and just forgotten about until you want to use them. It's kind of harsh in a way, but it's the same everywhere you go. And again, the classrooms are huge. Like, it's just mad how a full school like this can just close and be abandoned. So we've still got that building to check out as well. That's my car down there. But yeah, we've still got this other building to check out. It's all connected by, by one big bridge. Quite a nice little purpley pink room. Quite nice. Just goes through there, which we will be going to in a minute. And then we will be heading across this bridge into the science area. But guys, we will be heading into the science area in the next video. So please do join me next week and we'll head over there. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do hit the like button and subscribe if you are new around here. And I will catch you next time for part two of this amazing abandoned school. Peace. I spelled my own name wrong. I spelled my own name wrong. Extra L in there. <laughs> Pretty crazy though. There's like pictures of this off after home time like no that doesn't make sense <laughs> as you can see behind me we've got pet oh,